It's time for Access the Experts from the University of Nebraska at Omaha with your host, Brandon Aximit. Hello and welcome to another edition of Access the Experts on News Channel Nebraska, where every Tuesday and Thursday, University of Nebraska at Omaha faculty members answer today's questions facing our state. Now today we have the pleasure of hearing from Dr. Njoki Marumba, who is an assistant professor of emergency management and disaster preparedness at UNO. And today's question focuses on how to respond to a natural disaster, something Nebraskans most recently experienced in 2019 with the March flooding. So Njoki, today's question is, what are the essentials a person needs to keep their family safe in a natural disaster? Brandon, thank you very much for a very important, very pertinent question. Understanding how you can keep your family and yourself, of course, safe in a disaster. In response to this, I'd like to ask you, to invite you to consider two different levels of preparedness, right? There's the mental component and there's the physical component. Mentally, it is important to understand that disasters have historically affected human beings and human beings have been able to thrive, you know, survive, even through the difficulty through disasters, right? So we can do the same. We should not be passive in disasters. We can be proactive. We can be active. So this question needs for me to respond with that in mind as well, that we can be active in disasters and the way we think helps us in how we act and how we prepare. So for personal preparedness, I would like for you to consider what resources you have based on what the threats are for where you are at. Understanding that where you live has its own very specific, might have its own very specific challenges. And then also understanding that's important to understand what the larger uh, threats and risks might be. Keep in mind that if you do travel, you also need to consider what those challenges might be or what the disaster, disaster risk might be for wherever it is you're traveling to. Keep in mind as well that your family members might have different needs. Someone might be expecting a child. You might have someone that's elderly. You might have children and don't forget the pets, right? What are their needs? And you have got to be able to prepare and to plan on being on your own for at least 72 hours is what the recommendation is by FEMA for 72 good hours before you have assistance, professional assistance coming to you, okay? It's also then important after you understand what you have to then broaden out your scope and understand what is available to you in your community, in your neighborhood, right? In your county, what is available? Where are your shelters, for example, right? Um, understanding that is very important. And part of the information is available through the Nebraska Emergency Management Agency, a great resource, right, for you and your personal preparedness. Thank you very much for that question. And thank you so much, Njoki, for sharing your expertise on a subject that can help keep Nebraskans safe. For our viewers at home, do not forget that Access the Experts airs every Tuesday and Thursday at 646 a.m. and p.m. only on News Channel Nebraska. On our next edition of Access the Experts next week, we'll talk to Dr. Dan Shipp, who is UNO's Vice Chancellor for Student Success. Lastly, do not forget, if you have a question you want answered, go to newschannelnebraska.com to submit it. We'll see you next time on Access the Experts. Access the Experts, presented by the University of Nebraska at Omaha. If you have questions, submit them on our website. Then join us every Tuesday and Thursdays at 6.46 a.m. and p.m. while we answer your questions.